Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm John from GoMoCo.com and today is uh, going to be um, a nice day to interview a couple of people uh, from GMA. Uh, one is of course Miss uh, Anna Faleo and we're going to also talk with Gina Ortalesa, uh Cipriano. Of course, she got married. And also, uh, we're going to talk to Thea Thamalia um, and uh, Miss Andrea Torres, um, who's also, uh, of course, uh, part of GMA's uh, stellar um, line of stars. This is actually going to be a little bit serious. Uh, of course, they're going to uh, talk about... It's about womanhood. And um, since... Some of them are mothers, some of them are, you know, wives. Um, they've got to talk about um, how it impacts their um, their daily lives as actors. Um, they work different shows on GMA. And it is actually quite interesting to hear it from um, their point of view. Um, so, let's go listen in to them, okay? Shall we? Um, I would tell my 12 year old self na to be brave and to speak up for what you believed in or what you believe in. Because when I grew up, um, I had a tendency to, to be more shy and to keep stuff to sarili ko lang. So, going on with my journey in life, I realized talaga na you really need to speak up with your concerns, with your, your problems. So, Technically, you will also grow as a person naman when you do speak about it, when you talk to people about it, and then people actually help you when they are aware. So that's what I realized throughout my life, and if I can go back in time, I would tell my 12-year-old self that. <laughs> yes. Actually, parang, I wanna go next kasi medyo connected yung sagot ko kay Tia. Um, actually, ako, as a process natin ako ng ganun ngayon eh, and then yung gusto ko rin ipaalala sa younger self kung na don't be afraid to say kung ano yung naramdaman mo, kung ano yung paniniwala mo kasi lagi namang may tamang way na sabihin niya eh. So hindi porkit sa lungat yung gusto mo o yung paniniwala mo sa ibang tao. Parang tatarilihin mo na. Parang pwede mo siyang ano, pwede mo mo um, paalim sa kanila kung ano yung nasa sa loob mo. Kasi there's always a right way naman of saying it. And then dagdag ko lang din, hindi ko lang sabihin ko lang din sa 12 year old self mo. It's never doubt yourself. Kasi magta-start talaga yung sarili mo eh. Lahat ng, lahat ng achievements, lahat ng pwede mong ma-experience sa buhay. Kapag hindi mo makukuha yan, kung dinadown mo yung sarili mo or dinadown mo yung sarili mo. So dapat self-love talaga ang kailangan kong action sa sarili mo. My 12-year-old self. I'd probably tell her that she's on the right track and that she shouldn't let the opinions coming her way affect her dreams and her past. So, pretty much, if like looking back at who I was when I was 12, I had to get back to that 12-year-old girl when I became 30 to be able to empower myself further. Because she was right on track. Um, she was... That, that girl was empowered, confident, and what knew exactly where she wanted to go and wanted to do. She got sidetracked after a few years because of, you know, she allowed it to happen, which I felt was needed so that pagdating ko ng a certain time in my life, I knew exactly what I had lost. So it was important that I redeemed her back. And after that, the breakthrough happened. So yun. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Super lovely answer, Gina. <laughs> Me, naman, I'd like to piggyback okay. on what Gina said. Um, looking back at 12 years old, I was so imaginative. Walang, walang, walang limit ang imagination ko, ang dreams ko, mga pangarap ko. So I'd like to say to my 12-year-old self, old self, that I should bring, I, I should never lose that because that is the thing that will keep me grounded and that is the thing that will make, that will change things for the better, so, yeah. I think the things I like being a woman is because you can become a mother. I think that's what I'm looking for in my life. Sana, 
like five more years from now. That's what I'm looking for. And the things that I hate about being a woman would be, you know, you get judged when you have hair under your arms or if you ha- have hair on top of your lip. So, I mean, these are genes and you get it and you just need to embrace it. And I don't understand people who will actually, you know, are actually genetic. So, ayun, that's what I hate the most. Nurturing side. Lahat tayo bilang bumay, parang, ano na, yung inborn na yun eh, yung ganon. Tsaka, natutuwa rin ako na kasi, tulad nung sinabi ni Tia, kapag mommy ka, di ba? Parang for some reason, alam mo kung paano gawin lahat. Hindi ko yun, alam mo kung paano mo paralakin yung bata. Alam mo kung paano, paano mo, paano ka nagawa ng buhay. Kumbaga, parang pagkaganda yung buhay niya, nang wala ka namang na-experience before. Parang ganon. Ang pinakaayaw ko, ay guess yung agad-agad, ayaw ko yung mga comment na, kunyari, sa drive ay, bye, tati. Yung mga ganun, yung parang, ah, uh, um, sa bababaan yung expectations sa'yo or pili nila ganun kung hindi kayang gawin dahil lang babaan ka. <laughs> add, add on to that chance which was beautiful, ano, beautiful background na rustic. Yeah, and Andrea mentioned, I feel like one of the strongest things about being a woman is the fact that we are so freaking detail-oriented. Uh, I mean, diba, yun, I think yun yung power ng pagiging babae, which complements the male gender. Um, when put together, you become like a solid team. Kasi all of a sudden, there's like a generalizing gender, and then there's this gender that just thinks of all the little nitty gritties that um, are very important in, of course, making or creating things. So I feel that that's the power of being a woman, uh, whatever profession or whatever like um, mold we decide to get into, you're sure of it that we're gonna be able to bring something important to the table. Um, apart from that, the thing that I hate, um, I don't know if it's for all women, but at least for the type of woman that I am, I know what I am. Sensitive. Sensitive. <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> sensitive to the to the point na sometimes the emotions become like a driving factor uh, before like turning a rational mind on because if it's over your emotions just sobrang ayun na. Minsan, yun yung for me a weakness ko. Weakness pero at the same time um, natatry ko na siyang ma-harness pero ever since, yun talaga yung struggle ko na parang, hmm, paano ko ba malalagay ito sa tama? Paano ko ba malalagay itong over-sensitivity na ito sa tamang lugar? So, yun, at least for me. <laughs> Nahihiya ako ako yung nauhuli. Teka muna. Um, <laughs> next time pa rin tayo, ah. Ako naman. Okay, ako naman, um, what I love about being a woman is that there's nothing a woman cannot do. A woman can do anything. And I've always, and for the negative, I don't find any, wala akong, wala akong negative na nakikita sa pagiging babae. I guess because I was also brought up by a very strong mother. A very strong, iron, kind of, you know, very masculine ang energy ng mommy ko eh. So, and my father was always has always trained me to be the most independent. Treated me like a son actually. So I never really thought of saw things na para bang ah kasi babae ako ganun. because I if I ever felt that umapasok yung pag extra to na extra effort to be you know to like smack them you know. So I don't see any weakness or things that I don't like about being a woman because I think being a woman. If you're a woman, you can do anything and you're capable of anything. Okay. Ako, ako nahirapan maghanap ng partner na Filipino. Because culturally, parang there is this thing na pag babae ka, you really have to, merong, may machismo talaga ang Pinoy. So it was hard for me to find a Filipino partner who was very relaxed and secure about 
by being independent and strong-willed and, and very forward. Um, but I, I, know, uh, I had to love myself and I had to take care of myself and understand, be kind to myself para the right partner was ma-attract ma- sa akin yung tama para sa akin. And ganun na nga. So I didn't really have to work hard to explain to my partner about who being a woman because mas sensitive pa siya sa akin eh. <laughs> yeah. In my case, um, I guess, well, I have, I've had three relationships in my life and pretty much I think the the past relationships were able to help me understand myself more um, to the point of like knowing myself exactly what Anna said I started loving myself after you know those those failed attempts at love but when I finally found um, myself that's when I knew that I didn't need somebody to complete me so that's when I found the right person. Um, same with Akka. Kian and I don't have to explain things to each other. Because ano kami, we're very sensitive of each other's like ugali, feelings, traits, and changes that we go through day in and day out. So what? Kung bagay yung pagmamahala namin. I'll just go back to the fact there's, there's really no gender here in the, uh, in the Cyprian home. Um, if it has to take me to become masculine, I'll do it. If he has to be feminine, he'll do it. Like exactly what's happening now that I'm talking to you guys, he's being the feminine energy here by taking care of the children while I'm taking a masculine um, energy because I'm working for, for our family and for our dreams. So it's really like that. Um, Feeling ko yung talaga yung, I don't know kung secret ba siya or what, but maybe a lot of people go through it. Um, yun lang yung ma- mga mabibigay na, na parang like little tidbits of wisdom in terms of like finding a partner that can actually compliment you. So, ma- ano ba? How does he understand my woman <laughs> Ewan ko kasi sa amin ni Derek, ano lang eh, um, kaya relax kami, talagang yung in-search niya kung hindi may tell. Actually, ayaw nga niya kapag kayo may kinatago ako, kanyari alam niya na iinis ako, ayaw ko lang ipakita dahil ayaw ko ng gulo. Ibali ko yan eh, parang kinikim-kim ko lang pero halatang halata ang mga ito. Pero piling ko hindi halata, parang gano'n. So, parang mas, mas gusto namin yung real time, yung huwag mo na patagalin, bumake siya ka. The thing that my partner doesn't understand of being a woman might be the thing that um, if I have a monthly visitor, <laughs> I, get, <laughs> I get my dysmenorrhea because like, I have very bad dysmenorrhea. It's, it's uh, and it makes me like, understand it. <laughs> it, it makes me you know, minsan it makes me very hungry, sometimes I'm very sleepy, you know, my hormones. But he never, he never really, um, he, he, tell, he told me naman na hindi niya naitindihan talaga, but uh, nasaktan ako ng sobra. Pero he's always there comforting me, like if I need the food, he buys me the food that I'm wanting, I am craving. So I'm actually lucky to, to have him also in my life. And I think part of being a woman he understands a lot because he has sisters and he respects his mom so much and it comes from that ano man kasi din pero parang ang important talaga is sila try kang impedir part yes pretty okay. much yeah that's the secret to it and, uh, kasi uh Sam's David is in the core group but he won't be guesting or he won't be in front of the camera for womanhood mm. Yeah, um, always part of the creative process. But um would that have been like a good thing to do? Um of course. I'm I'm sure womanhood can be talked about by women, but um how can it be talked about, you know, by men? Ah, that's a 
good question. Um, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, um, in one of the press, press mini press cons, uh, me and Ben, ben, ben Alves was part of you know, the interview. Mm. And he said that it was very important that men should watch this episode because hindi lang ito this is according to him and this might not be exactly what he said but the spirit of it is like this so that uh, may usually have male um, inspirations you know you look up to a male figure kasi lalaki ka but it's so important and it shouldn't be locked into that only May, the male energy the male the, the men should also you know, look up to these strong women as as inspiration as well. Um, it's very important. Hindi lang para sa kanya, hindi lang basta inaakit sa pedestal ang babae. But you, we, sabi niya, we as men should also walk beside them. Side by side with them. You know, it's a different point of view if you look, walk side by side, pantay kayo with the others, with the other sex. Okay. To be able to say that I've completed my womanhood. So there are also other topics um, that are going to be discussed in the episode that I feel like are of most importance, especially when it comes to approaching the craft of the actor and being a woman at that and and the challenges that we go through when we are approaching the roles that we're given. So, that's chat. Sa akin, wala pa naman na pressure talaga. Hindi ko pa naman na feel yung ganun. Although, siguro bako hindi na ako na-pressure kasi I'm always confident naman na magkaroon na ng family. Parang, gusto ko nga, parang goal ko talaga young eh. So, yun, hindi ko rin na-feel yung pressure. Pero I get, I get yung ganyan. Ha, nakakakita ko, may mga friends din akong ganyan. Yung parang, um, bakit kailangan may certain para magpakasan or para magkaroon ng anak. Meron talaga ng ibang girls sa ayaw pa talaga nila. I mean, they're not ready. And for me, maganda yun. Yung, yung nire-respect talaga nila kung ano yung nararamdaman. Hindi sila nagpapapresure sa ibang ta. Parang talagang kung ano yung gusto nila, they go first. For me naman, my, my sisters, abunso kasi ako eh. So, my sisters, they, they always tease me to get married. But it's just teasing. And I think it's one of their ways to make kulit na rin sa akin kasi malayo kami sa isa't isa. And yeah, I think motherhood is for some it's a very sensitive topic also because I have a lot of friends who've been trying for for years and you know we should just respect each other's space when it comes to that and decision because I also know some people who like Andrea said ayun din maka na, na maging mother so we need to respect that as a as a woman and as a person itself, kahit mga lalaki, they shouldn't pressure their wives ayo ng, ng, ng asawa nila. So I think it's also a topic to be talked about before, you know, getting into a very serious relationship or getting married kasi that can be a, a bigger problem in the future talaga. So, um, yeah, I just really suggest to have respect and an open mind when it comes to motherhood and the topic. Mm-hmm.
this Saturday again at 8 p.m. I'd like to see Andrea and and Sia and also our other guests who are coming in. There's Lauren Young, Kai Cortez, Janine Gutierrez, Mikey. Who else am I missing, Anna? Um, That's it. Okay, so um, they're gonna be on to share a lot of their thoughts. So I hope you guys can help us um, promote it because it's a very important episode for us. Um, so yeah, ang saya ng discussion namin. Uh, ang dami namin na discussion sa ito at kita. Just moderated siya by myself and Anna. So, um, pretty much, um, we just really hope that you guys can help us spread the word so that diba, we, we can finish this season. Alright, that was very interesting to hear their views on uh, certain issues. It was interesting to actually hear from them, uh, their experiences, um, and how they actually um, understand the feeling of actually being a woman um, in this day and age. Um, thank you so much to uh, the women um, who actually we talked to earlier, uh, Miss Anna, uh, Gina, and also uh, Thea, Amalia, and uh, Andrea. Um, that was uh, really enlightening, to tell you honestly. So I hope uh, we get to interview more of these stars on our uh, next video. Um, thank you also to GME Artist Center who facilitated everything for us. Um, thank you so much. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, so you get to actually get notified also if we have another video uh, from um, our interviews with these stars. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye. Please subscribe to our channel and click the notification icon. Thank you from Gomakao.com